everybody. So, another episode of Kyle's Cabinets. I figured why not? Um, after taking a good look in those cabinets last time, I was like, you know, I probably should do more of these episodes, and I love doing these episodes personally. So, uh, oh, coffee. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. And uh, last time was Dominican Republic. I have no idea what's going to be first this time, but we're about to find out. Dubai. Okay. So, we'll hop to the computer and uh, learn a little bit about Dubai real quick. All right. So, Dubai is a city and emirate in the United Arab Emirates. Known for luxury shopping, ultra-modern architecture, and a live a lively nightlife scene. Burj Khalifa, an 830 meter tall tower, dominates the skyscraper filled skyline. At its foot lies Dubai Fountain with jets and lights choreographed to music. On artificial islands just offshore is Atlantis, the Palm, a resort with water and marine animal parks. Wow, it all sounds pretty cool, I gotta say. Wow, 13 hours plus to get there from D.C. Look at the... Yeah, that's the skyscraper. Dubai is gorgeous. I mean, there's no getting around it. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, just looking at these pictures. Most people have heard of Dubai. And uh, I think it is quite a beautiful city. Um lots of money out there from what i've heard holy moly people have lots of money so anyways let's take a look at some of these stamps okay so we got some stock cards album pages looks like manila stock pages here whoa some stuff just fell out of there whoops and more stock pages okay Well, let's start with these stock pages. Then we'll move on to the other oddball stuff. So these look like airmail. Dubai. Outer Space Telecommunications Congress, Paris. March 29th to April 2nd. One real. Hmm. This is a five right real outer space telecommunications congress. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, couple of outer space commemoratives. And then, hmm, some more commemoratives. Airmail. Trying to read is so small. Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, okay, so a bunch of famous guys. UNICEF. Man, I don't use this uh, pointer enough. I actually quite love this thing. Charles de Gaulle. Cool, some kind of sports here. <laughs> I forget what you call this sport. Water polo or something. <laughs> Um, it doesn't say the yeah, Olympic Games. He was riding a horse and some runners. All right, cool, cool. Okay, so the next little stack of album pages right here. Okay, nothing on this page. I can tell you these first two pages of this stack are yellowed and they look older than I guess all of the rest of the pages sorry let me try to get this organized here by the way it's like 6 a.m. pretty early here <laughs> so some flowers I like that they're kind of large these stamps convo Volus Minor. Convolus Minor. Geranium Lancastrians. Oh boy. Sorry. Wish I knew how to say these things. Uh, okay, so 
Rubens, Le, Le, Le Chapeau de, pa de Pale. Oh boy, I should probably just stop trying to pronounce it. Alright, so Thomas, Earl of Arundel, Murillo, a peasant boy learning on a sill. Huh. And then these look like a continuation of the earlier flower stamps. They look like the exact same design. So, oh, butterfly. And more butterflies. I like these. These are nice. This is a pretty stamp series. <coughs> it says Lawrence, Portrait of the Boys, Fl Fluder, Fluider, Children's Day, 1968. That comes off as a CTO cancel to me. So, nothing on the back. Okay. Moving on. Wow, these are cool. Look at these. Okay. Oh, that's uh, Winston Churchill, looks like. That's cool. Look at this. These are awesome. Look at these long, rectangular stamps. Cool. Um, interesting shape, no doubt. Um, that would be cool to see these on a letter. I really do think these are CTOs. I mean, look at the cancels. They're all perfectly uniform. There's another one, bottom corner. Look at this one, top left corner. I just about guarantee all these are CTOs. Kind of sad. But, you know, they're still awesome to look at. Uh, but yeah, I would prefer used, uh, actual used examples. At least in my personal collection. I mean, hey, you know. So this is a neat little series. I wonder, um, I'm just thinking uh, to myself, I wonder what you call the headdress that this guy has on. Like, I've heard of a hijab, but I thought I think that that covers your face and uh, some of your eyes. So I don't know what you actually call this kind of hat. Seems like a pretty standard hat. Protect your head from the sun. It's probably got some religious undertones attached to it. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a thought. That's in my head. Okay. Yeah, this guy must be their president or something. He's definitely all over these stamps. This one looks like an actual used example. Dubai cancel. That's cool. 65. I like that. This one is probably also actually used. Uh, at least that's what I would guess, just based on the location of the cancel. And when I look at the ink, um, you know, it's just not as perfectly um, pronounced as these other ones. So it's a, it's a, looks like a little bit of a softer cancel. Um, this one's probably a CTO. Anyways, enough about that. Airmail. Uh, this one is not airmail. Cool, okay. Interesting. Oh, we got some on the back. Cool, birds. It's a cool design. I do like these. Um, I think that this... Uh, kind of leaves and flowers design along the bottom is actually was a good move um, I think it makes it look like a nice stamp it's pretty a couple of space commemoratives this one says US Gemini Space Project December 1965 yeah I was looking at the top of the sheet here so uh, 66 so we're in the 60s here alright let me uh Next page. Let's see. I am still trying to stick with these gloves. I'm sure you can tell. If I can get used to them, I think I'll keep doing that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's better. They have a little sippy poo of uh, coffee. Mmm. UNICEF 
So it was Inner Space Telecommunications Congress, Paris. Okay. 25th anniversary of UNICEF. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Wow. Man, the the portrait makes him look like he is knocking on death's door. Wow. Okay. Mm, somebody. Beethoven. Cool. Uh, yeah, every single one of those looks like a CTO. Okay, nothing on the back. One of the stamps just came off. Which, which one was that? Gosh darn it. That's a CTO, so I'm not too worried about we're uh, remounting it there. Whatever. Okay. Next up. Okay, so this must be the Scott numbers. Also, I'm assuming they're Scott numbers. I mean, it could be, you know, any other catalog, but These are cool. I do like these. You know, I I, I actually genuinely do like these so far. Um, in my head, what I'm thinking is, darn it, I, I it, why am I liking these more than the Dominican Republic stamps? I, I do like them um, from the Dominican Republic, but um, I don't know, something aesthetically about these I find more pleasing to the eye. Uh, maybe it's just a design choices coupled with the size of the stamps. Um, and perhaps whatever ink they used. Uh, these are pretty to me. I like these. Um, like this series up here. Very nice. These are cool. These are cool. I like I like their choices so far. And I don't... Um, We'll definitely be doing other countries this episode. I don't have that much more. Uh, there's a, there's some pages, but I don't have that much Dubai. Um, so none of these are airmail. So these must be just plain old uh, commemoratives. Look at Charles Dickens centenary. You know this. Uh, just to speak for a sec, this just makes me have the thought of. When you going through all these different stamps from all these different countries, you find common themes. You know, uh, basically, what I'm thinking of is famous people. You know that uh, that are so famous it crosses borders all around the world. Like Winston Churchill. I mean, Charles Dickens. Here they are over in Dubai, commemorating Charles Dickens, the 100 years uh, centenary. Right. That's just amazing. I mean, these people, these people were valuable to the human race as a whole. You know, they are cherished and loved across borders. You know, and uh, it, you know, just like uh, JFK is a great example, or uh, Abraham Lincoln. I mean, geez, what country hasn't commemorated those guys? You know, and, you know. I just I find uh, the same kind of people being commemorated uh, no matter where you are in the world and just goes to show you know what prominent figures they are or were um, the effect that they had on uh, our world you know as a whole anyways just a passing thought okay what is going on here construction of the world's first underwater oil storage tank it says 21 million gallons. Wow. Launching of the world's first underwater oil storage tank. So they built it. Oh, wow. So they built it like on the coast. And then um, they had this waterway. So they must have used the water to just like float it out. I've never heard of such a thing. Okay, the world's first underwater oil storage tank. Yeah, okay. Same thing. 
Interesting, so they built some big giant floating underwater oil storage tank. Okay, this looks like an actual oil rig. Uh, commemorate, commemorating the first oil export, 1969. Wow. I don't know why I thought they would have been exporting oil earlier. My tongue still needs to wake up. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so 1970, new UPU headquarters. This one is also commemorating the same thing. Airmail. Okay, well, this one's airmail. It says, here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969. You know, I've been seeing videos, uh, what was it, like Buzz Aldrin or whatever his name was, how he's publicly stated several times that the moon landing was a hoax and they really didn't go up there. You know, to hear it from the actual astronaut's mouth, I think it was Buzz, uh, could be wrong, but... Um, you know, there's always been that conspiracy. Did we really go to the moon? Uh, but yeah, to hear it from the guy's mouth was a uh, little bit condemning. It's like, ooh, don't want to hear that guy say that it was fake. I don't know if he's. I don't think he's going senile. Okay, I'm trying to get the next page here. It won't cooperate. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's just a thought. You can you can hop right on Google <laughs> and. Um, listen to the actual astronaut say we didn't go there it's fake <laughs> like ah don't tell me that yikes okay so um these we're getting older as we go here so numbers 90 at least page by page uh so uh 1909 to 1969 okay so 60 years yep 60 years of postal service dubai so this is all. This whole series here is commemorating 60 years of postal service. These are nice looking. These are pretty. I like these. This one says, Armstrong Whitworth, 15, Atlanta, 1938. Cool. Chand Para, the BOAC Sunderland, 1943. I always thought those were really cool looking. Um, planes that can also land in water okay well let's move on whoa come on look at these stamps they're pretty stamps Dubai is impressing me I have to say these these look more tropical than the Dominican Republic to me I mean, yeah like they got some flair to them this is good looking stuff very cool I love all these different fish Super awesome. Little stingray. What's it say? A Texas skate. Okay. Wouldn't have guessed that. Huh. Very pretty. Yeah, look at these guys. Super cool. Okay, nothing on the back. Moving on. If this will work, good. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I have definitely, personally, seen this one before with him and the eagle. I assume it's an eagle. It could be a falcon, something like that. Um, yeah, we're in the number 80s now. Okay, yeah, these. this is nice. These are really used. These are not CTOs. Every single one of these. Look at that. That's a partial slogan. It says versary, so I can only assume it originally said anniversary of something. These are also used too. I love it. Love that. This one is definitely got some toning going on here. It would seem. That's like nearly sock on the nose. That's a pretty good cancel. A little bit faint. I don't think I'd be able to read them anyways. This one looks like I can read the year perhaps. It's maybe 72. Not 100% sure though. Then we've got this uh, Arab Mother's Day commemorative series down at the bottom here. Pretty cool. Hanging out with the kids. To all you mothers out there, thank you for doing what you do. 
Okay, so just a few on this page. Look like real cancels. 66, I think that sounds. Hmm. Just different scenes. Pretty tiny little stamps, those ones. Huh. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it, just to speak again, I... Boy, last night I was on atfellbomb.com, and let me tell you guys, I was so close to popping about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars and getting a six carton collection. There's still actually a big part of me that wants to do it, uh, as I sit here right now. Oh, uh, it's like a four thousand dollar collection, but they're offering seventy five percent off, so I end up paying like thirteen hundred or something like that. Uh, maybe it was a forty three hundred dollar collection, and. Um, Man, I just, I want to buy more stamps so bad, but it takes uh, discipline, man. I'm trying not to. Holy crap. But, you know, one of these days, I, I might just be making a video saying, hey, guys, I finally cracked and I bought more stamps. Part of what uh, I, I miss the hunt, and this is sort of like the hunt for me, uh, all these different folders. That's part of why I love this. Um, this is stuff I already have, you know, and, um, but. I really would like to bring my grab bags back. My grab bags back. I'm sorry uh, for you guys out there that want to buy them, and I just don't have any available. Um, I get more inquiries than you would probably expect about my grab bags. Um, people seem to have really liked them, and um, I miss them. So, but for me, you know, I, I think selling them fifteen dollars. Um, a grab bag for me to like pay off a thousand dollar collection i mean that's a lot of grab bags i would have to sell so ultimately I, i'm just 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 so you guys know i would love to have them but yeah for me personally it's like well i'm not gonna pop a thousand dollars just so i can throw a bunch of stamps in a tub so that you guys can buy my grab bag you know it's just not financially responsible for me um so i trying to hold back and not buy stamps and so the grab bags will just have to wait anyways back to the stamps here <laughs> i just i yeah i miss my grab bags <laughs> i like them so this is a cool series here look at there's uh jfk speak of the devil yeah this is cool i mean these all look good what is this boy scouts i mean it says jamboree i'm assuming it's boy scouts and these are oh okay well these two are airmail oh they're all airmail i see okay so, Airmail Boy Scout Jamboree Stamps. Has to be Boy Scouts. JFK. Oh, yeah, of course. They're C. Clearly, Airmail. Look at these. These are pretty. This is really cool. Uh, I am impressed with the stamps. They're good-looking good stamps. I like the colors. I like the designs. Um, they're pretty. This is nice. Well done, Dubai. Well done. C4. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at Eagle Airmail. So that's a really old one. That's, yeah, number four Airmail. Uh, pretty cool. Nice cancel, too. You guys see that? Well, it's, it's pretty faint, but it's an interesting shape. I wonder what how big the whole cancel would have actually been. Well, okay, that does it for the sheets. So let's take a look at whatever I have in these stock cards real quick. And then we'll move on to these manila stock pages uh, to finish off Dubai. So it looks like some flower CTOs. We've seen similar stuff earlier. Might have already even seen these. That could be. Not bad. Cool looking stamps. And then this. Where are these? I think I'll just leave them in the stock card. That same telecommunications congress stamps. We've kind of seen those already. All right, let me get these stock cards out, or these stock pages out. 
Whoa, so this one's like <clears throat> exploding here with um, what seems to be um, blocks and whatnot of uh, CTOs. Uh, so, oh, almost dropped my tongs there. Okay, is this, yeah, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Ah. <laughs> okay. What? This is Russia. How did that get in here? We'll have to. I'll have to sort that. What is that doing in here? So UNICEF, twenty fifth anniversary, Charles Dickens centenary. Yeah, I have. Um, I mean, there is a lot of stamps here. These are exploding out of the page. All this different stuff. So, Boy Scouts. This is cool. Are these the same? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, definitely CTO blocks. Wonder where I got this stuff from. Just like everything else, I just can't remember. Oh boy. Huh. Looks like Christmas, not Mother's Day, sorry. Reminiscent of uh, U.S. Christmas stamps, usually as a mother and a child. Yeah, so a whole bunch of different stuff. We already saw that one. Here's another issue. Kid sitting in the field with a, a dove, it looks like. I always love the, uh, the salvage when they have those little circles. That's cool. Pretty sure like Antigua does that or Barbados or something as well. Incredibly similar. Okay, so a whole bunch of Boy Scout stamps buried beneath all those Boy Scout stamps. Got some fish stamps. I think we saw that series earlier already. Man, there's a lot of stamps on here. What the heck? What's going on here? Yeah, just like layers of stamps. Somebody really packed this stock page I'm trying to see if there's anything telecommunications we already saw that kind of famous people so, so these are pairs okay well in case there's any kind of order to this I'll, uh, oy, boy it does not want to go back Ugh. okay these look like just a whole bunch of blocks um, here's some vertical pairs Charles Dickens. These all look pretty much like the same issues that we've seen, so. Um, yeah, I'll take my time to gingerly put all that crap back in there. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at this uh, second stock page. More CTO blocks, a whole bunch. And uh, what is this? I'm curious what this one is. Mm, cool. Paris. Uh, yeah. Oh, this looks like a sous sheet must be hiding out up here. Hey, imperforate sous sheet. Dubai, uh, 1965, rendezvous in space. This is cool. Yeah, neat little sheet. You know what? This is actually in pretty good condition. Almost every time I ever see a sheet like this, it's always got like the absolute most minute crinkles. Um, just kind of the nature of these sheets. Kind of hard pressed to find a sheet that's absolutely immaculate and post office fresh. Well, um, yeah, as I'm looking at all these, it's kind of more of the same. Um, so I'm not going to bother taking them all out. We'll just move on to the next country. Okay, so East Africa and Uganda Protectorates. Now, I only have one stamp here. Uh, so, I'm not going to show I'm going to bother looking this up on the computer. Uh, let's just take a look at this single stamp we got. East Africa and Uganda Protectorates. Wow, really? It does say that at the bottom. It's got the portrait of the king. What's this uh, cancel? Mambas. 
I think there's more to that name. I see another character cut off. Mombasa, maybe. Interesting. Um, hmm. C. Looks like someone wrote C.06, maybe. Maybe it's an airmail. I'm not sure. I can see kind of a diagonal crease on the back. Wasn't even apparent, apparent uh, from the front. Well, anyways, interesting. Uh, only one stamp out of everything I've gone through, all the collections, that's all that I have amassed. <laughs> all right, let's move on to whatever is the next country. Okay, Eastern Silesia. <laughs> that's it again. <laughs> One stamp again. What the heck? Well, it says, uh, uh Isko Slovenska. Celestia. Interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've been working on, I've actually finally been doing some stamp work, and, um, I found a bunch of, uh, Nazi stamps in the past, uh, that, uh, I finally cataloged and organized them all, and I still have more to go. Um, actually, I think they're right here. And these did say Slovensko, which uh, I haven't bothered to do these ones yet. And was curious what what Slovensko was. I'm not sure where that is immediately. But maybe it's Celestia. That could be, considering this one says, this one does say Slovenska. So pretty close. And it clearly has an overprint. SO1920. Uh, so, says that this is number 23. Well, um, whoever, you know, built these pages, um, clearly didn't have a lot of them either. So, for me to only have one, maybe these countries are just not, uh, the most common. I would say not. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've ever, I can, that I can recollect run across Eastern Celestia. But then again, I wouldn't really know that that's what it was just by looking at it so interesting clearly it's hinged I'm trying to take a peek there is some writing on the back oh well okay interesting just another single all right let's move on to the next country all right this next one is ecuador yeah i had a feeling i had something in here all right cool let's look up ecuador and learn a little something about it Okay, now before I even read this, I'm pretty sure that Ecuador literally translates to equator. Uh, so they're very close to the equator of the planet. Let's see what it says. Ecuador is a country straddling the equator, okay, on South America's west coast. And that's actually about all that I know about them. Uh, let me let me say, well, I think they speak Spanish. <laughs> Anyways, so its diverse landscape encompasses Amazon jungle, Andean Highlands, and the wildlife-rich Galapagos Islands. In the Andean foothills, at an elevation of 28,050 meters, uh, I don't know how to say that, Quito, the capital, is known for its largely intact Spanish colonial center, with decorated 16th and 17th century palaces and religious sites, like the ornate Campania de Jesus Church. Yeah, take a look at these. Uh, they're beautiful, man. Very beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is so nice. Gorgeous. Yep. Just uh, enjoying. Very pretty. Quater, look at zero, zero, zero. Yep. I think that I have a postcard from that that site with the statue there um i do believe i actually have a postcard from here and um they were right there and the picture of the postcard was here um so i suspect unless i'm wrong i suspect there's a post office somewhere nearby perhaps i guess there's no reason it would have to be right there um but i think that there is and yeah, I thought that that was unique. That's why it's stuck in my head. I'm like, wow, they, how cool. Um, 
it's like having a postcard from the North Pole or something, just kind of these geographically significant places. Okay, well, anyways, eight hours to get there, not going to happen for me. Let's uh, take a look at some of their stamps. So, dot cards. Uh, looks like a ripped off piece of an album page. Manila stock pages again, and a bunch of stock cards. Okay, well, let's start taking a look at these. Get that out of the way. First, let's check out this stock page right here. These are cool looking stamps. Let's pull these out a little bit. Okay, airmail. Look at these. Airmail. Okay, this is overprint airmail. Uh. Uh, surcharge, not overprint, sorry. This one does look overprinted. It's got this red at the top. Must say something. What it says, I don't know. Man, these just look old, don't they? Look at the... Oh, sorry, kind of a little off-center here. Um, they just look old. Franco. Union Postal Universal, 50 centavos. <laughs> Neat. Cool little turtle. Yep, my battery's gonna die. Hold on. Alright, back in action. Yeah, I mean, some countries are like this. They. Their stamps just look old as dirt, but this might be from, you know, the 50s, 1950s, who knows. Hmm. Any other interesting ones? Okay, this is a legitimate cancel, so that's used. Cinquenta centavos. And I can only imagine that the cancel says Ecuador. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Another 50. Is this uh, 1940? Hmm. We get like a runner here. Olympic uh, commemorative there. What is this? Some sort of mountains is 10 cent stamp. Nice used cancel. I just about guarantee that I've never really pulled all these out and taken a look. Wow, big overprint arrow. Arrow. Aereo. <laughs> what was it? Robert was making fun of how I say arrow. Arrow. <laughs> okay, so this one's overprinted. About Something about um, 1936. Okay. Oh, Republica, okay. Or airmail. Ten cent with a plane. Some little, probably definitive or something. Okay. We got some on paper stamps still. Two sucras. Hmm. Oh, look at this one. Interesting. Looks like an airmail envelope. Overprinted postal. It's a vertical stamp. Nice cancel. I see the word timber, so this is probably a tax stamp. Okay, more airmail. Something about telegraphs. Just figure I'll pull these out. Mm. Okay. I have totally seen these before. Um, these big ones with the eagle and Washington's portrait. They're also airmail. And then we have some interesting shape stamps. Cool. Uh, so some... I know that sometimes I say stamps are diamond shaped. Um, these ones are actually diamond shaped to me. 
El Salvador. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. So they're <laughs> they're just uh, commemorating different places. It looks like I have a little series here of three. Fifty cent, a buck thirty, eighty cents, and to finish this page off, we have these Tet Tet Bash, right? Head to toe. That's actually still fresh in my mind from the last episode. Interesting little kind of lines on the gum. Looks like cracks. Near almost. These are overprinted as well. Oh, this is a neat little page. Okay, let me put all these back in so they're safe. Let's take a look at these here. Mounted. Somebody ripped off a piece of an album page. It says 750, 751, and C441. These actually all look used. Nice that they mounted them. Protected and cared for. Pretty cool bird stamps. I like it. And what do we have here? Cori uh, ah, Corios. I, I finally remember how to say that right. Ah, man, I don't know how many, I guess all these years, these last few years, I've been saying Cor uh, Correos. But uh, since we looked up in the Dominican Republic last time, um, the way that I remember how to pronounce this is like Oreo, like the cookie, Correos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Correos, Ecuador. This is Premier... Uh, I think they're talking about uh, 100, um, 100 year anniversary of the Republic. It's a 20 cent. Pretty cool. I do. I did like that stamp. Um, Ecuador, 20. Cool eagle. That looks like a coat of arms. 1884 to 85. Hmm. Huh. Intriguing little stamp there. Here we have a few in here. Let me, oh, there's four of them in here, actually. Mexico. What are you doing in there, buddy? Just another one that I need to sort out. Crap. As I set it to the side, I'm like, wait a minute, where's that Russian stamp? that I set aside. Darn it, that might have, uh, I might have put that back in the wrong folder again. Whatever. <laughs> Whoops. So, um, let me have here. It says care pack. It looks like care on this package. Some kind of care package, I guess. Cool butterfly. Airmail. Operation Amigo. Okay, I love the colors on this. That's very cool. I like the colors. They're just appealing somehow. Moving on. Okay, this one looks kind of older. What's going on here? Coat of arms again. It must be. Well, let me actually take this out. 79 cancel. This is Mer Marzo? Yeah, Marzo? Interesting. Hmm. That's a cool looking one. Okay, then we have the Eagles again with Washington. Okay, I'll just scoop right on past that. Couple in here. Cool. <laughs> With the little baby. Man, the baby's ripped. He's got a full blown six pack. What's going on there? Huh. One tough baby. Okay, next stock card. Let me get all this stuff out of here. A little stack. We got butterfly again. Who is this? Oh, cool cancel, too. Look at this, a big three. So, 
numeric cancel. The President del Ecuador. So that's the President. Uh, says something, something, 1967 to 8. Yeah, interesting little stamp there. That's cool. I like the cancel on that. You know, um, I didn't give a lot of uh, time to this cancel either. Interesting looking cancel. I wonder what's going on. It almost looks like a bullseye. Um, hard to say. Okay, well, more butterflies. We'll keep these in a stack. So we got a little butterfly action. Okay. More butterflies. Well, a little stack of butterflies. Yeah, this looks just like the cancel on that uh, other butterfly stamp. Some kind of big uh, spot right in the middle of it. wonder what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's Earth. I don't know. Cool. Hey, nice little array of different stamps here. Cool. Okay, this one is stocked. What is going on here? Boy, a lot of stamps in this uh, stock card. Wow. Let's get all these out of here and have a gander at them. Hmm. So yeah, this is that coat of arms again. Just another example um, of their coat of arms. It's, I assume it is. I don't know what else it would be. It certainly comes off like a coat of arms. Okay, so used. 1930. Some kind of monument. Oh, S Simon Bolivar. Okay. Really cool triangular stamps. Bummer. The corner is, let me guess, folded. Nope, just straight up missing. That could be in way better shape. Cool uh, stamps, though. Ooh, that's. Uh, this one has a bent corner, but. Um, nice cancel. Ecuador. What else does it say? Comiendas. Hmm. These are cool. That's a nice. Oh, it's a star in the center. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna steal this one, and it's gonna go. I mean, I don't know. This probably isn't a legitimate fancy cancel, but when I see something like a star, that's fancy enough for me. Uh, that's gonna go in my big worldwide album in my fancy cancel uh, section. I'm going to have to set that over here. Actually, let me put it over here. A little stack over there of fancy cancel. So these are neat. Um, wow, that was cool. I like that cancel. Ecuador, way off center. So we've got a few. Uh, let me get this stack over here. We'll do that next. Okay, so a whole series here with this guy. Ooh, another fancy cancel. Concentric rings. Love it. Stealing that one. Okay, the coat of arms again. Just a different denomination. Ecuador, Corios. I do like these. I love. I like. I do like older stamps. Um, I don't know if I like. I guess I do. I like older stamps more than newer stamps. I mean, I absolutely love some newer issues, like uh, Bioluminescent Life from the U.S. Like some newer st issues are just so beautiful. Gosh, uh, but uh, something about old stamps. Probably reigns supreme for me, um, you know, as just being cooler, in my mind, uh, more interesting, you know, 
That's history. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, so what I'm thinking, I like the stamp, uh, but I love the cancels. These are cool. Just like last time, kind of bigger cancels. I like that. Look at this one specifically, is what I'm talking about. That's cool. What is it? What's going on here? 1930 again. Huh. Okay, these have got to be the same series. I like that all these are kind of grouped together. This guy's harvesting something. Tobacco. That's tobacco. I don't know how well you guys can actually see that. In the tobacco fields. Yeah, cool. Look at this. Two cancels. Come here. <coughs> huh. So this one, uh, I guess, is a surcharge. Corios. Uh, I think it says Corios Telegraphos. Timber. Yeah, okay, so Timber Tax. Su sucre. Sucre. I, I'm pretty sure that means sugar. Um. Okay, well, uh, sorry. <laughs> we keep some of these organized. It's, they, they were in nice little stacks. So, yeah, these are uh, tax stamps. And I know that I'm not saying that it's, uh, was it postal tax or. Oh, uh, um, okay, I'm going to have to look this up. It's going to drive me nuts. Um, timber, you know, timber tax, but what's the proper way to say that? So I'm here in the back of Ecuador, um, and I think revenue stamp was the term I was uh, trying to think of, and uh, I went looking through all these. I couldn't find um, the uh, right stamp. So anyways, I went, I assumed it was a revenue because it says timber on there. But uh, when you go right to the beginning here, here's our stamp right here. So that's this stamp. Um, and I think that it is, in fact, this number 70, one cent on a one cent. Uh, vermilion, I think, means, uh, I think VER means vermilion, which is orange. And that looks like what we've got. Um, and we have this overprint here, we, but we have a one cent instead of five cent. So I think we have a number 70 is what I'm looking at. From 1896, uh, this one's used, so it would be worth 60 in a cat, so real world value about six cents. So, that much. <laughs> and, um, yeah, there was a whole bunch of different surcharges. These guys went pretty surcharge uh, crazy on their stamps. But, yeah, that looks like our guy. Interesting. So, this is an actual regular issue, it's not a, not a revenue. Um, which I find surprising. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, interesting little stamp there. Let me get my tongs. So yeah, that was it. Uh, cool. So this is a, actually they say eighteen ninety six, and they're from eighteen ninety six. That's neat. This is cool. Look at. Oh, I, I missed that on the first one. Um, look at the symbol on the bottom, kind of like an S. But not quite. Well, it looks like an S. Some kind of... Uh, some kind of scribble there. That is cool. It's, I mean, they're just neat looking. Um, that's pretty cool to look at. Okay, moving on. Ecuador. Nineteen oh seven. That's a pretty landscape. This is a cool little train, locomotive stamp. And okay, so we actually saw this one earlier. Look at this guy. It's cool. You can see Ecuador on the cancel. 
think there's yep more than one there uh, oops sorry the first century the foundation of the republic so this must be a commemorative Quarenta that means 40 huh and uh, 16 Diaz y says uh, cool. Okay, let me organize these and we'll take a look at this other stack. Yeah, <clears throat> I like those. My uh, stock card seems to have a little bit of trouble here. We're going to see if we can fix that up real quick with my handy dandy Howard pen. Gotta love that. Worth every cent. I love this adhesive pen so wonderful stock card lives on it's beautiful okay the next stack of goodies what do we got Good. beautiful beautiful little series that's cool cacao oh wow cool 1930 they're all used that's nice these are cool I like it what else do we have here let's pull off a chunk okay little itty bitty stamps what is that oh the turtle again oh cool this one has oh oh my god what do you call that thing Oh, it's killing me. Uh, uh, it's not a chameleon. Oh, man. I can't believe I can't remember the name of that lizard. Oh, my God. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to look that up. Hold on. An iguana. Duh. Man. Amazing. Uh, that I couldn't remember that. Christ. <laughs> I was like, I knew it was going to bother me. I know what that freaking thing is. Totally a bunch of different stuff. I don't see any postmarks that are particularly amazing. Iguana. I was like, I could, I'd like, I was like picturing them swimming. I was picturing people playing with them. They make good pets. Just could not remember the freaking name. What the heck? It is a little early, so. Hmm. A few different ones here. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Some portrait here. What is this? doesn't say anything. It does have a UPU up in the corner, but not telling me this guy's name. So, looks like we have several from this series. Man, a whole bunch. Oh, cool. Yeah. Look at all these guys. That is cool. So I keep seeing this un at the bottom, un sucre. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, maybe it goes from centavos to whatever that is. Uh, let me look that up in the catalog. Okay, for one thing, let's see how to say it. Sucre. Sucre. I knew I was saying that wrong. <laughs> so um, uh, here we are in the catalog, and I was correct. I don't know why this isn't working. There we go. So, uh, 100 centavos equals one sucre. So, okay. Reals is a peso. Interesting. So, yeah, okay. Centavos translates 100 of them. So, basically, 100 cents equals sucre must be, like, 
Oh, I was going to say a dollar, but what the heck? A hundred cents equals a dollar. Okay, uh, so this is just different time periods. It, it does, a sucre is pretty much a dollar. I guess it, probably this means the year 2000, right? They switched over and uh, used like uh, the American dollar. Hmm, interesting. Well, it goes to show what I know. I thought sucre was sugar. What the heck? Way off there. Oops. <laughs> the more you know, huh? So, oh, there's a. Yeah, these are. Okay, coat of arms. Coming across a lot of that. Portrait. Stamps. Okay, the coat of arms again. And then we have a little slew of these coat of arms stamps cancelled but it's messy very very messy I'm not gonna be able to read that and um, cool okay well it's a neat little stack uh, these are all definitely older looking and um, pretty cool this was a, a nice stock card I enjoy the different variety of stamps easy to understand why the um, stock card unadhered because these are such fat stacks of stamps is definitely ugh, more than was probably intended ever to fit into one of these kinds of stock cards but I'll leave it like that what the heck <clears throat> okay some more Okay, these look surcharged. What is going on here? T Timber Orientalista. Huh. Yeah, and it's surcharged. It says postal and then a dollar. This was originally a 30 centavos stamp. Huh. Don't see something there. Ro Rosello? Maybe, um, huh, those are intriguing. It looks like the perfs have been cut off on the bottom of these. Yeah, okay. Mm. okay. Oh, there's a two dollar surcharge. <coughs> There. Some orchids. Gobierno Revolucionario Nacionalista. National Revolution or something, probably. This is the 15th of February, 1972. Huh. Alright. So. That pretty much does it here for these stock cards. Put those back. And we have one no nope, one more stock card. And then we'll finish off with that cover. Whoa, is this one uh this one looks like a hand cancel? Look at that. Twenty, okay, Ecuador, Corios. Yeah, somebody definitely um it almost comes off like a fountain pen cancel. That's cool. Hmm. Interesting. Then I have a cover. <clears throat> so it must be airmail. Ecuador. Here. metered mail 64 it was sent to Toledo, Ohio oh it's um, it's a card whoops postcard hmm well Uh, this, this is a, um, oh my gosh, 
there's a name for these. Uh, what was it? The um, uh, long range, uh, short, short, uh, short wave um, radio or something like that. Yeah, I actually have a whole stack of these. I did a uh, video. I on a, it's an older video. You have to go far back into my uh, released videos in my channel to find it. But ESL or sh short wave uh, SWL or something like that. Um, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, these are. Uh, radio stuff I'm pretty sure pretty cool wow and so it's a meaty a metered mail and uh, gosh darn it that's gonna bother me too let me go let me go look up what what uh, that's what the proper name of that uh, is all right SWL shortwave listening uh, was what these are and it was a hobby of listening to shortwave radio uh, broadcasts that were uh, on certain frequencies, and I think that that's part of what they um, write in here, this kind of information, you know, when you received it, what was the frequency, um, you know, the date, blah, blah, blah. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, shortwave listening is what that is. <clears throat> Took me a sec there. I was like, what the heck was that? Um, yeah, so I have a whole stack of these, actually, and... Um, I think the video I did, I just went through them all, and there's just, I just like play background music and we just look at them all. Uh, but, anyways, that does it for Ecuador. Hey, a pretty good run on that one. I gotta say, there was a fair bit of stuff. Uh, and I do like the older stamps specifically. Uh, those ones kind of capture my interest the most. So, anyways. That's going to do it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking out some of these stamps. We did actually a few countries this time, uh, although a couple of them were pretty uh, scarce. They didn't have anything in them, really. So, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you want to support my channel. And uh, I'll be back next week. I hope all of you enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a good upcoming work week. Take care, everybody. I'll catch you later.